Okay, folks, we're just catching into Nehemiah here, wherever we actually takes off and just start the recorder up. And you're going to see the object again, and it's going to not move across, not the broad side, but the narrow side. Yeah, Basically, it's going across the broad side and not the narrow side that it did a little while ago. You've seen that went by, and you can freeze and slow it down. And the next time it comes by, I'll go ahead and freeze and slow it down too. Uh, you can see an x-ray effect is the idea that's so bright. And then also, I'm going to back up right here real fast because the idea that you can really see that the big object that we know that is not a radar dome because it is blocking out, or the clouds help block out the since we're at 1500 this could be the sunlight okay so a sunlight but a cloud blocked that out and we still get so that even proves even more that it's not a radar dome that we've had some and basically i'm going to butt base you for christmas for everybody for a christmas present for everybody because you were stupid enough to flap your mouth and whether you're a carousoft op or whoever's operative of soap opera BS and you can see this the basically the x-ray effect so the idea that there is very high radiation from this and pretty much is matching up with the effect and the idea and the theory that is pretty much beginning to match up big time we have the footage uh, the theory that said Dutch sense that a lot of uh, visitors have come up with the idea that we have overwhelming evidence more than NASA is probably ever going to ever spew their mouth about that the idea that these very strong rays from IE this is the sun but it getting blasted probably directly after a cloud going by but the idea that even the smaller non-sun probably more than likely Rigel Cantaris B or something else because it gives it a very strong x-ray effect as you can see the freshly blown snow getting various different within just a few minutes 10 minute intervals so it's a very interesting effect so there you go with the idea that snow dam radar dome and we blew their socks off if you watch my videos on the idea that they tried to subliminally put some kind of horse crap and they make us think that it was a radar dome in which I never even once thought I was like what no, oh, ain't gonna pull that crap. This is dark ass object coming across the sky. In the middle of the afternoon at 1350 hours to 1400 to through to who knows, because then it disappears into the shade. So we'll hit the movie here and play this and then uh, I'm gonna go real fast here because I'll just come back and let it finish playing because you already pretty much seen most of the action here <coughs> views of the sun and I'll have more in the pictures in a minute but the idea that stereo B core 2 is showing us a lot of super giant action as you can see this stuff here because these dark areas are bleeding through the supergiant material because the idea of all this brightness here even beyond and behind the sun because that's behind Okay, so the idea that that's behind the sun and that all that bright light is back here. Super giant action, okay? And then these shadows are these shadows matching with that there to pretty much, even though it's a different time period, is pretty much there, is here, or either vice versa, this is there. No matter, okay? So that the idea of the brightness is back here, i.e., this brightness here is way more than just the sun. It's the objects and the super giants behind it i.e. this Lasco 3 is upside down and let me go to the pictures real fast well folks you will see the magnification you need to blow this up because you can see what other people have seen before that you can see the magnification that's not totally perfectly circular around the sun here these here waves here these are electrical magnetic more than likely shields because it's the only thing that keeps a lot of normal smaller comets away from the sun from not hitting the sun, but we have seen comets hit the sun within the last six months, and in the past, people have recorded and caught them from off Soho. 
So there's a very good shot of it that shows you the magnetic waves in space around the sun that the sun's way more than probably the sun puts off aura out there. Okay, and you see different layers, and there will be if you can check out and they'll t you can research different layers, and we have our terahydrons I like to call them because they end up being seen on terra firma on Earth. This object that we've seen the other day, and it, what's interesting about this picture, because check the time, and I saved it. And here, we, let's go to live. I mean, the latest I've got. There's your fresher Lasco three. Okay, so you can blow that up and study it. Uh, lots of stuff, lots of action. More than likely, that should be Venus, because Jupiter is over by the Moon. Should be still close around by the Moon. So check all this stuff out. Zoom in on that. I ain't got time right now. Let's get through this. Uh, so you had the plow action. Let's go to the photos. And as we go through these, there's the other one. Then there's a, a scatter of the recent. And the object's showing up too on Casey. Uh, pure proof because I do when, the, when you go through the, the Casey pictures, it... Uh, shows the sun and there's no it's not the camera it's never been the camera effect it's actually object that's there up there which is that object okay then there is the other direction down there at Palau not so much happening going on but you do see the object come up and then you get the action at the other photos now this is the very interesting one is to check this gigantic solar image that's pinkish in color See the triangle? There's a tetrahydrin, terahydrin, and these are terahydrins because they are. Now, someone could make a video of like, hey, the Martian ships are landing on the airstrip because check this out. This is a uh, triangulation, terahydrin, tetrahydrin, whatever you want to call it, uh, hitting and being focused on to Earth. I'm going to keep going, and there's another shot of that big. And then the, this triangulation in here, and keep watching that triangulation. I'm just going to hurry up and give you these photo, photos to get them in the time. You will keep seeing this action here and the terahydrin, and there's going to be a terahydrin, tetrahydrin. There's going to be a lot, way better one here in a minute. And basically, I think uh, I'm pulling into it, and there's going to be a real big one towards the end in here. And you study these because they're there. You can't miss them. They're doing all kinds of action. Now, what's interesting, these darker ones, okay? Now, and also this here image, keep an eye on that. I haven't had time to study this here, but I think this is one of the terahydrons too. Tetrahydron and terahydron because the idea they come down towards the Earth. And as you can see, I do believe that one is one, but I do know that this here, if you watch right there, is one. And you can see the ones out here by in front of the airport that keep going floppity, 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 and this one up here. And then the idea that you imagine what the jet fighter pilot or whatever pilot that comes in there is worried about possibly a seagull going in his motor. Any pilot. Okay, and then you got this up there action. And it also, that one bleeds through to the roof also. I think I got some shots here of the roof. Yeah, that was the big, there's another big, there's going to be another big piece of bark here on one of these shots. There it is. Check that out right there. And on that one, that one gives down here and gives us the same baby blue kachina right here on the roof right there there you go you will see the blue and the baby brown dwarf or whatever right there on the roof folks reflected down okay you can see it there and we've seen it in past videos of mine okay so that was going through the photos real fast to share a bunch of stuff we'll check on earthquakes in a minute but here's your weak areas more than likely okay your weak pressure atmospheres the idea that it get those tetrahydrons terahydrons they get through okay and there's your axis action there and going really fast up to that was polar drift and uh, let's go up and see what's going on on remember be watching the there you go there's North Pole and there's the South Pole action make sure to be watching check the moon out and back in again in January 12th or so you'll see Jupiter get up by the moon again okay and this is bad stuff here down here at Nehemiah because check it out as I back it up and we'll let it play through. There is your flopper. Okay, that is not, and that is not the sun. Check the timeout. It's not the sun and it's smaller because it does get hidden as it goes behind. And then here we go. I'll step it forward. 
to not mess up with the player. And here it comes, up and down and 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 up and down. Pretty wild, pretty wild, folks. I.e., and look at how much sun action is hitting our Earth, folks. Check out all that action that the sun is still, and this is 6.31 p.m., and it's winter solstice and we're getting a lot of sun on earth in the winter solstice folks because the idea that we should have way less light this time of year in winter solstice i.e. that's why we still get a lot of that earthquake action right up here in Alaska as you see that it breaks and we get a lot of flashing and you can watch the sun when you put it in that phase which is right here is uh, the night feature on and off and you will see where it's dark at and you will see where light breaks and flashes and we get the quakes and updating now is the idea that we more must be hella calm or it's offline uh, it's reading data now we'll see if I get something going on on quakes let's show you what's going on on quakes that's interesting it's down for right now there you go folks quakes and the idea that they pretty much follow the sun and then the last hot spot over there 3.1 and we know it's a ring of fire, and yes, because the majority of the time it gets sun. All majority of the time because of the super giants. So check out all of my, go to my YouTube channel and go to my super giants link, and you'll find Rad and CPM and all the other stuff, good stuff too. So there you go on the latest there, and I pulled up the graphs real fast because we thought we were down here. So we'll scroll through the graphs real fast here. See if we got any ink quite calm right now uh, Korea's got something happen there that's not just nothing that's pretty interesting uh, there you go so Incheon yeah that or probably maybe uh, could be some jamming some kind of uh, electrical disturbance for we know who's there or at least it's over there somewhere getting fuel from probably something out of the area so the big birds over there I believe and let's see if we can get any anybody see Antarctica when we came past or Antarctica. Antarctica looks kinda calm. No quake anyway. Still doing all that skipping action though. Skippity skippity skip skidoo. Alright. So the graphs are quite calm except for that, so that would actually basically be a pretty good reasoning for what's going on over there. High tech US military, make sure that the big bird is nice and safe and do a good job, gentlemen. And it must be some kind of truth to check that out. So, anyway, there you go. Jam away, ladies and gentlemen. United States Air Force, Navy, Army, Marines, Coast Guard. We love you all. Check that out. That works real good. Nobody's going to see nothing, are they, when it's jammed? Okay, every time I kind of have extra time on this, the next thing you know, I'll go back and search something out, and there'll be some pretty wild stuff. So we'll just zoom in on this real fast, see if we see anything on this one, which there is some pretty good stuff. The CMAs, or the CMEs have calmed down, and then we still see our circula uh, circular action, and the Navy gives us these shots straight up, so the idea we do pretty much know that that should be Venus there. Uh, any idea that we have all kinds of nice triangulation so let's zoom in on this stuff let me save some tape time and get in on it. so before I zoom we will go to this stuff here that this over here we'll check the CME out the stuff on the back side of the Sun and we'll also check down here we got a nice something there a nice something there let's check it out so this should work out pretty good you see this on your and you pull this up to full screen and you should have some fun with this as you can see this here same photo and let me go back down through it and we'll zoom in to a thousand on this stuff and go around on this stuff okay we'll go from here and around we'll go counterclockwise it's gonna go pretty fast folks because we're running low on time here so I'll pan right that was a lower right we'll go up most interesting stuff was up past the CME to the left or high left now we'll come down there's Jupiter I got some interesting stuff here. Okay, just misquoted. That's Venus, folks, to the left. Okay, of this here interesting object there, and that interesting object there, and then there you go. That should be Venus. 
Okay, and down. This interesting stuff there. Down by the arm. And we'll go to the right, and then we'll put the legal disclaimer on. Classic V-Act, legal disclaimer.